Hey guys, welcome back to the shop once again. Today we have a 2002 Ford Expedition that has a no crank, no start condition in park. Drop down to neutral and all of a sudden it cranks and starts right up no problem. Now the key indicator here that there's a concern with the shift linkage is the shifter's really sloppy. So the transmission doesn't see that you're in park or neutral, especially park, it's even more sensitive and therefore it won't allow the starter to engage. Now this, this uh, Expedition has both of the common causes for this concern. So I just want to show you today what they are and help you get out of this situation. Um, and I also have links to the two videos on how to correct these conditions uh, down below. Today we're just going to show you exactly what's going on and what's causing this. Let's go to the vehicle and check it out. The first thing I want to note here is that this does apply to just about all the Ford trucks in the 90s into the 2000s. So we're talking the F-150, Expedition, Excursion, Super Duties. They all use the same type of steering column, so they're all going to fail the same exact way. Now the very first thing you're going to notice is that your shift selector is very loose, okay? This one's obviously very, very bad, but yours will start to become excessively loose and that's going to affect your shift linkage going down to the trans range selector, which is ultimately going to allow uh, voltage to pass through the neutral safety switch in there um, to actually allow the start to engage. So you can see if it's out of whack up here, it's going to be out of whack down there. So it's the same thing as your shift cable being out of adjustment, okay? So the very first thing you're going to notice is that, and then you're going to go to start it. Everything, you know, with the ignition switch is obviously working. You can see the lights go out, okay? And then you drop down to what you think is neutral here. I think that's around neutral, right? Okay, you missed the gear here. There you go. We're in neutral. Starts right up. Engine's obviously fine. Power's obviously fine, it's just a sloppy shifter. Let's put it back in the park. Park. Uh, so the very first uh, reason why this is happening is these little shifters down below here. Okay, these little shifter bushings right here. Okay, now these go on a shift tube underneath this column shroud here, and they hold that shift tube in there so it can slide back and forth and have wear points. This is a wear item inside of there that allows it to slide back and forth nice and smooth, and it does wear out eventually. It's metal against plastic. The metal is going to win. Okay. Now, the other one is down below. Now, the other common cause is the shift bracket under the dash here, and the bolts come out, they get loose, and then it gets sloppy. Again, it's all adding up to the slop and the shift cable. So you wanna come under the dash here, if you have contortionist to get underneath here, and you're just gonna kinda look up, okay? And you can see right there, that black cable, which is right there, you can see it attached to it is your actual shifter cable that goes down to the transmission. And there's this bracket right here. Well, you see those two T30 bolts right there? They get loose over time and they back out, adding to the slot, okay? So what's nice is that they don't strip out or anything. Let me get you up in here and show you how loose these are. You see how loose they are, how much they back out? Yeah, so, all you gotta do is take them out one at a time, okay? Put some blue Loctite on them, and then you're gonna put them back in and tighten them down nice and tight. And that'll fix that. And that's where a lot of the slop comes from also. Very, very common. And there you have it. Those are the two most common causes for this kind of concern on Ford trucks in the 90s into the mid 2000s with an automatic transmission that shift selector on the column there. Now again, I'll have both videos on how to fix both these concerns down below. Uh, but in the meantime, you can get up in there and identify what's going on. Maybe put those screws in back by hand just a little bit and get it tight enough so you can start it up and get out of there and get out of that situation. And when you get home, you can fix it and fix it right. I'll see you guys next time.